Hi there. Now for the next part of this question, we're given that a call centre also sells the magazine and the probability that a telephone call made by the call centre sells a magazine is 0.05. The call centre telephones 100 people every hour and using a suitable approximation, find the probability that more than 10 people telephone by the call centre buy a magazine in a randomly chosen hour for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this one, haven't done so already, just give you a moment then to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution or you might want to uh, fast forward just to see the final solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, for this one, what I'd want to do is set up a random variable. Let's say we call it Y. Let Y be the random variable and just abbreviate that to RV. And what it will be will be the number of sales. Now, the number of sales would follow a binomial distribution. So we'll say where Y is distributed binomially and there'll be 100 trials, okay? And the probability that a sale is made is 0.05. And we're being asked to work out the probability that the number of sales is greater than 10. Now, the thing is, you could work that out by the binomial model here, but uh, we'd have to do 1 minus the probability of y being less than or equal to 10. And that's not going to be in our set of tables, not for n equaling 100. And doing it by the formula would just take too long. So that's why we've got this suitable approximation here. So what's that approximation going to be? Well, first of all, since the number of trials, n, is greater than or equal to 50 and the probability of a sale, p, is less than or equal to 0.1, these, remember, are the boundary conditions that we have when it comes to approximating a random variable, in this case y, which follows a binomial, to a Poisson distribution. So we can say that Y is distributed approximately as a Poisson distribution. And it needs a mean here, mean rate of sales per hour. Well, that mean is going to be NP from the binomial distribution. Remember, NP gives us the mean, or E of X, if you like. So 100 times 0.05 is going to be 5. So we've got y following a Poisson distribution with a mean of 5 approximately. So using that approximation now, we can say that this is going to be approximately then the same as 1 minus. And to get this value here, all we need to do is look up in Poisson commutative distribution tables. And I've got an extract here, which you could check out if you want. Look up your mean lambda of 5. And, OK, in the tables they've got x, we're using y here. But just look up 10, and you've got the probability of being less than or equal to 10. 0 0.9863. So 0.9863. And then this is going to be 0. 0137 and that gives us our approximate value for the probability then of y being greater than 10.